What's this under my hand? Yeah, it's a palm-sized rec sensor tool. Hey everyone, what do we got here? Is it the world's most uh, lively otoscope? No, you would not want this up against your ear because uh, it would make your face very cold. This, it's actually cold in my hands right now. Uh, this is something I've been playing with a bit. I think I teased it on Instagram ages ago when I was first testing out different products. This is something that we sometimes will use to try to attack a rec sensor in an environment where we can't bring a giant bulky can of air. So for size comparison, we can barely get this in the shot here. Canned air, uh, it's very useful as you, as you know, right? Get that cold gas coming out of there if you want to blast a thermal sensor, a passive infrared sensor. This isn't exactly something that's going in your pocket. Uh, maybe if you have a cargo pocket or, you know, the bottom of your bag, but it's big, right? It's, it's not palm concealable the way a little tool like this is. That's what we wanted this for. Full disclosure, this is not perfect in a number of ways. You don't get a lot of gas out of these little canisters. In fact, let's just go ahead and we can get a couple blasts there, a couple blasts here, but before you know it, that there she goes, that's it. So you're gonna get maybe, maybe one or two good attempts, like boom, 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 a couple of good hits, maybe only one. You're not gonna get through door after door after door after door in a facility. But these are really quick to change out, of course. I mean, you can get these canisters from, from bike supply shops. Go ahead and crank another one on there. So these canisters, they come not pierced, obviously. They, they come completely sealed up. When you screw them on here, that is what, you know, bayonets down into them and pierces that top of that canister. So right now, this canister is, you know, is live, right? This is flowing gas through. The only thing holding it back is this little plunger button. If we were to screw this canister off and try to remove it, uh, it would just blow everywhere. It would, it would vent out and be done instantly. So once you screw one on, it just has to stay on until you use it. Otherwise, you're gonna have to discharge it all. And even all told, if you're carrying two, three, or hell, even four of these with you, it's still nowhere near the size of something like this in your pocket or your tool bag. Caveat number two, the air that comes out of here is cold. I mean, you saw it was gassing off pretty good, but it's not as cold as difluoroethane or especially if you can get some tetrafluoroethane, some R134A. This doesn't hit sensors with quite the same reliability as some of those other products. It is why we often recommend you adapt these with like a long spray straw, which of course, I mean, you know, you're gonna see that on your regular cans as well. So right now, the way I've decided to source and package these up, ooh, almost, almost unscrewed that while she was live, uh, you get a needle that comes with this, a little in, you know, ball inflating needle. Now you notice this does have a hole on the tip. It also has holes out the sides. Something I recommend people do is, you know, get some sort of some little nippers or side cutters or something. I will often cut the tip off of these needles before I use them in this fashion. Now you might spot, you say, wait a minute, that just crimped over the whole tip. What do you do? Well, you know, you come along with some pliers. You can kind of, you can kind of square that away. There you go. We're, we're in good shape now. Now, if I put this straw on there and get, you know, hit the gas, it's going to fly right off the end. Um, something I recommend, get a, get a little chunk of gaffer tape to kind of secure that in place. You should be pretty good to go. So there we have it coming out the end here. So try these out. If you want to play with one of these, uh, I'm probably not going to ship you uh, compressed gas canisters. But again, the, the link, these are on Red Team Tools, right? The link to the canisters is down below uh, if you want to buy your own. But uh, if you want to try one of these, that's the giveaway this week. Let me know how it works, genuinely. I actually want to see how much success people can have with a small volume of air. If you can get it to work, if you film it, uh, you know, I would love to see that. If it doesn't work for you, you know, maybe we're going to keep tweaking these. Maybe I'll even be able to source these little canisters, but filled with uh, better gas, not nitrous. No, you're not going to be able to get high on the job while you're trying to work for a client. But uh, yeah, we'll play with it. The, the giveaway, uh, you know how to do it. You sign up once, you're good forever. I'm really, I'm excited about these. The, the big gas, you know, spray bottles one of the most asshole things to carry around and I got really sick of doing that on the job. So being able to have a little thing like this at the ready, I think that could be fun. I hope, ooh, goddamn, that's cold. 
I hope it works for you. I'm going to keep letting it work for me. And uh, yeah, enjoy yourselves. Try to win one. If you don't win one, you can reach out to us to get some. But uh, in general, yeah, stay safe out there.